Okay, good evening everybody. Welcome to day number three of my Rose Isle Fan tour of Kaohsiung, Taiwan. And I've actually come here, Shane told me about this restaurant, the guy I was filming with yesterday. And apparently this is a Michelin star Taiwanese food restaurant. Uh, I don't know how many Michelin star restaurants there are in Kaohsiung, but apparently this is one of them. And oh, shisheni, shishet. And wow, look at this. I mean, I guess maybe technically this might be considered a Lu Ro Fan, but it smells so delicious. And I can see there's also the Rozao Fan little pieces on there as well. Oh yeah. I think it's possible that I, I saved the best for last of this week's food tour of Taiwan, the West Davies food review show. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so right away I can just tell how tender this massive piece of pork is. It's just ridiculous. You just need a couple of wooden chopsticks. No knives required here at the shop. Uh, I'm just gonna take a bite of the pork first. Wow. So what that reminds me of, it's like when you get a, a piece of uh, pork ribs and it's so tender, it's been so well cooked that it literally just falls off the bone. That's exactly what this piece of pork tastes like. It's so flavorful, a little bit sweet. You can tell it's just been braised, cooking for hours. Uh, let's, I, I, I just, I can't, I can't. I have to, I have to eat this right now. Mm. And similar to the one yesterday, this is served in a, with a huge helping of these delicious pickled mustard greens. So I'm gonna get some of that with the rice and get a proper bite there. Mm. Yeah, there is something about this. It's almost got more spiciness. Not spicy, but spiciousness. So whatever they're using to braise this meat, uh, it's just so good. I'm sure they've got, maybe it tastes like some star anise. Sometimes it almost tastes like cinnamon and definitely maybe some Chinese five spice powder, some rock sugar, the soy sauce, the cooking wine and it's so perfect with that basically fall off your chopstick rice. Mm, that is so delicious. And then this massive piece of pork here, just, I mean, that's pure pork fat. So high in calories, so delicious. Everything is just perfect. I bet you, you know, I don't usually eat fat by itself, but I guarantee you when I take a bite of this, it will not bother me that I'm just eating literal pork fat. As soon as you bite into it, it just liquefies. That is perfect, 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 perfect. And I'm not sure if this is what I'm supposed to be doing, but I saw a lot of people mixing soy sauce and wasabi together. Uh, let's just, I mean, I, forgive me if I'm not supposed to do this. Mmm, everything goes so well together. This is, this is absolutely incredible. This is delicious. And I mean, talk about affordable. Uh, this whole bowl here was 60 NT, 60 NT. What's that, two bucks American, something like that? Like, it's gonna fill you up, it's delicious, it's classic, traditional Taiwanese dish, Michelin one star. I mean, come on, it really does not get any better than this. Mm. The other restaurants were great. This one is fantastic. I'm gonna give this a huge score. I would say, supremely, Superb, 8.9 out of 10. I don't know what it would have to do to get into the nines, but this is absolutely fantastic. And for sure, one word of advice when you come here, uh, just be prepared that you're gonna have to wait in line. And a lot of people are taking it to go because there weren't actually any seats inside. That's why I'm sitting outside here, relegated to the side table outside. But that's okay, it's a nice cool evening. And uh, I'm just enjoying this meal immensely. And then as usual, I've got a little bonus dish here. Bonus review of Ju Gan, uh, cold pork liver. So this is absolutely one of my favorite chow thai dishes in Taiwan. Let's see how this Michelin one style restaurant uh, compares to some of the other ones I've tried. Mm, very garlicky actually. I think it's smothered in little pieces of uh, like raw garlic and ginger. Uh, you can tell it's very, very fresh. It's not dry at all. It's just beautifully soft, a little bit chewy, almost crunchy in that way that liver can be sometimes. That is really, 
really good. And I love the sauce that it's kind of swimming in here, dripping, uh, chives, green onions, a couple of uh, chili peppers here. That is just fantastic. I'm gonna give this pork liver a very, very solid 7.9 out of 10. Mm. And basically that concludes uh, my three video Rhodes Isle fan tour of Gaoshan. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this series. Definitely let me know in the comments uh, some of your favorite restaurants. Uh, I just, I'm really excited about this new series, dive deep into Taiwanese food culture, getting some of the most traditional dishes that I can get my hands on. Uh, so thank you very much. Please like, please subscribe, do all those nice things, and I will see you next week. Cheers, guys.